Plus, Milan Christopher, breakout star of love and hip hop Hollywood, joins us with his thoughts on being an openly gay man in the world of hip hop. Details on his new music and life as a successful single gay man in Hollywood. Still ahead on San Diego Living, Milan Christopher of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood joins us next with a look at his new single, plus details on his mission to be a role model through music. And if you say go, I would stop everything, oh. My heart would play the role now. And act like it's never been broke. Oh, my soul. Oh, oh, oh. They well, it is the most popular show on VH1, Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, and this season, one of the most talked about storylines of the season, the first openly gay couple out in hip hop. He is a rapper, producer, and a model, and uh, his shoe game is always on point. Welcome, Milan Christopher, <laughs> to the show. Welcome to Hi, you. Hi, guys. How you guys Thank doing? Thank you for coming all the way down to San Diego. I know. I drove all the way here, and I was the wind was blowing, and uh, it was cold. I, I assure was like, you, this is not representative of what San Diego I know, is. San Diego's like beautiful. I, know, I have to confess that they asked me to come in and do this interview because I am the reality show queen, the hip hop correspondent. I need you to spill the tea for us, <laughs> Milan. Uh, you were uh, a pioneer of sorts, an openly gay man in a hip hop. What was the response like when you came on the scene? Um, initially, when, the when, when we first was brought to the platform, um, it was an overwhelmingly positive thing. You know, people were like reaching out, especially the LGBT community. They were like astounded, like, yes, finally we have somebody on t TV. And you know, so it was really good. I got, I get thousands and literally to this day, like thousands and thousands of tweets a day of people thanking me for just being my authentic self, being who I am and um, being a good representation of the LGBT community. Now, recently, you and Miles, um, who was uh, allegedly a closeted bisexual man who had a high school sweetheart, that was the storyline, mm -hmm. and you wanted to no longer be a secret, you wanted him to no longer be on the down low and come out and, and, and own the situation. Uh, you went through a very public and somewhat messy breakup of involving an altercation, a restraining order. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, definitely. I found out a lot of information once the show started airing um, about like Miles's story and how it wasn't legitimate, you know, how him and Amber weren't ever in a relationship. They were actually friends. Um, and then I found out that, um, you know, he was cheating on me with like four different people. I mean, you were on Wendy Williams yeah. last month. You had matching braces. You take a peek. You still have matching tattoos. Matching tattoos, yeah. Uh, right there, Eminem from Miles in Milan. Yeah. What caused that downward spiral? Well, just all of those things. All of the things. Um, I, I, I found out a person was had a duplistic uh, personality. Um, he wasn't who he said he was. He cre recreated this person to uh, please me and to get on a platform and, you know, and it, it, it was... Uh, it was a disservice to me and to the community, and it was just something that I just didn't want to be involved with anymore. Now, you have a new <coughs> single out, When I Go. Is that at all inspired by your breakup? Absolutely. <laughs> it is definitely a breakup song. And so, um, When I Go is a song about, you know, just being empowered after, you know, someone hurts you or breaks your heart. and and being able to move on, take all the things that you brought to the table and just keep it moving because it's always somebody else out there for you, so. <clears throat> okay, so people wanna know when they watch reality TV, is it the real deal or is it scripted? Well, I, I think with our, our show in particular, um, they're just capturing what the talent or the people present to them. So it, we had, I don't feel anything was scripted at all. It was definitely, what we presented and that's the story that him and amber presented to them and the, my love was 100 percent real and that's what i presented and i mean everybody can see that when you watch me on television so okay yeah. so this is season two of love and hip-hop hollywood season three is there any chance of you guys getting back together you've been on and off again a lot a yeah lot. this is different you know this is one of those things where you find out so much information um, you, it's no turning back from that. And also, it was a physical altercation involved. And I just do not believe in that. Like, I do not believe in harming a dog or a cat, let alone a real person. So it was just not something that I'm, I'm into. Okay, uh, <laughs> also, people want to know, since you were pioneers of sorts, 
very masculine, openly gay couple in hip hop. It even inspired a miniseries out in hip hop mm -hmm. on uh, VH1. For those who looked up to you as a same sex couple in hip hop, do you feel this kind of messy, physical breakup tarnishes your legacy at all? Well, not mine. I'm, I'm, I'm still who I was when I first came on the show. I'm still a loving and caring person. Um, you know, things happen with heterosexual relationships. The same things happen in homosexual relationships. Um, so, you know, in I wanted to be in, be with someone forever and for the rest of my life. I mean, I got matching tattoos. Got I ink. think if you guys watched the first episode, yeah. I said I wanted to be married. I wanted to have kids. And you still do. And I still do. So love still wins. You know what I mean? So, you know, things happen. People do things for crazy reasons. So You said on the show that you bankrolled Miles' schooling. You bankrolled his car. You paid for his high school sweetheart's rent a couple of times. Do you think looking for your next mate, you might find somebody is equally as successful as accomplished as you? That's the only way that I'm going to settle this this time around. I'm going to be equal. It's, they have to be equally yoked. Yoked, yeah. They have to, <laughs> you know, be equally spiritual. Yeah. They have to have want the same things out of life that I want. Um, I think with my situation was I was dating someone at the time. The show presented itself, and I put that person on the same platform only because we were dating, not in a sense of is this the right person? Like, I, I didn't even get to that point in my life with him because I was at the point when we first got on the show, I was at my breaking up point. Like, listen, I'm not going to be in the closet with you for another two years. Like, get it together or we're, I'm moving on. Last 30 seconds, final question. You're newly single. Mm -hmm. uh, all you San Diegans out there, what qualities are you looking for in a man? Oh, my God. Uh, smart. Yeah. Uh, successful. Yeah. Uh, spiritual and honest. Honesty is the key, you guys. Honesty, so. All right, and if you want to check out his new underwear line or even his teeth whitening business, check you out on... Beverly Hills White Smile and my new underwear line, Milan Christopher Intimate Apparels. And make sure you get my new single, When I Go, and go to MilanChristopher.com. Always <laughs> such a pleasure. Milan Christopher, thank you so much for your time. No I problem. certainly do appreciate Love it. You. <laughs> Love you. too. All right. Coming up... Uh,